Oh my goodness gracious. Welcome back guys to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. We just had like one of the biggest twists I've ever seen. I thought Snow was dead. And she just came out of nowhere at the end of the last episode. I am so, so just absolutely beyond confused as to what's going on right now. But I've got a feeling we're about to find out. Episode 2. Smoke and Mirrors. Please tell me Snow's actually alive. She is. What the fudge, dude? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. <laughs> How are you yeah, not dead? I have to explain this cuz I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Compliments for days, baby. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. She did, yeah. It can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. Damn. Ain't gotta be bogus, girl. I just care about you. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not Because you're a babe. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. Fabletown Business Office. What's going on, little TJ? TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Well... I mean, I guess it'd be best to see the body first, wouldn't it? Before we talk to TJ and, and, you know, know what he's gonna be talking about? Let's do that. 
So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Come on. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what we're gonna see, man. Witching well chamber. Well, this place is a little creepy. Wow, dude, that looks exactly like her. Same earrings and everything. Hairstyle. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. It's just a body, Snow. If you can't do this. No, I'll be fine. I want to be here. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Gross. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this is disgusting. It's just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Well, that's odd. We've already examined the neck mark, haven't we? She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what <laughs> I wear? You can't fool this nose. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Or a hickey. Alright, now let's look at her, uh, her fist. Ooh, she was clinching up. Fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. How about we open her hand up? W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh, this is gonna be disgusting. I think her fingers are gonna break off. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Upskirt shot! Marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? And that brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally. It's not technically it's a good thought. illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. 
black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Well, let's take a look at it. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh... Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. This is turning down a path I don't want to go down. Ooh, look at that little G string. Are you still okay? I well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Not Nothing like some, uh, people. some good old necrophilia. Have I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it, then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. <laughs> sniff it. Give it a sniff test. Mr. Wolf. Wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. She wearing them granite panties. Uh-oh. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Hmm. Ah, okay, I see what we're doing here. There we go. It's a deer in the woods. What does that mean? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. What's the feather for? Oh, it's a lock of hair. Wow, that's creepy. Someone yes. went in her apartment and got a picture in a lock of her hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? What the fuck? She's a troll? Oh! Yeah, 